Hi guys, my name is Long Din Nguyen, and this is basically uh, just a quick run through of my goo for my project. And uh, this is basically my what my goo window will look like, which is include my input panel, my output panel, my uh, output axis for my uh, plot, uh, for my graph. So and then uh, after it generate, basically you generate on this code, but I don't care about anything else but I just care about when I press that but green button on the early window go um, I will get um, it will start to um, compute my data which is uh, just take in the input data that uh, prompt by the user and uh, transfer that into data point in this case would be uh, transfer from angle from degree into gradient and calculate a uh, y initial velocity x initial velocity uh, total time and transfer those uh, and then transfer those time into increment of sample depend on whatever number of sample you enter and just use a kinematic equation depend on our time calculate our y position and uh, x position and next is just calculate our max height uh, max location and max range and this set next just set out in output of our uh, data which is uh, for this uh, just basically our uh, maximum calculation for maximum height uh, the location of maximum height or uh, maximum range for the generation of the project is launching or uh, total time or uh, x, x initial velocity y initial velocity or uh, xc and for this one it's just actually just a syntax for outputting a plot within this uh, we will name our plot title our uh, plot uh, uh, x label and y label and uh, define our origin for the graph well in this case it would be zero because it's I don't like how the fact they are uh, always origin or graph at um, whatever the launching uh, initial velocity and then we will get uh, a stamp graph of our maximum location no maximum height at and our location at that maximum height and then next is basically a for loop which is just grab our plot with a part of our uh, 100 um, milliseconds so let's see how we do so first our uh, initial velocity will be 10 or initial position 10 initial y position 10 launching angle 45 gravity of earth probably 9.8 but we just use 10 and the number of sample let's just put 100 now let's put 10 to save time So right here you would get like around 10 data point, but um, well to get a little bit more finite you could try 100. So, but you will still get roughly about the same graph with a uh, uh, same maximum length for all range and uh, same initial and x and y velocity and same max height and stuff. Okay, so what if our initial ve velocity was way higher? Like, let's see something like 100. Now you will see something more like this. Well, our 10 location is still down there. But as you can see, it take a little bit more data point. So, and our uh, actually our maximum height and maximum location actually changing to around 260 at uh, 510 compared to before it's all the way down here so so that's conclude my uh, my video for this project thank you for watching